Mountain Railroad helped the shoreline suburbs like Glencoe develop into bedroom communities. But to the west, the inland suburbs like Northbrook benefited in a different way from a different railroad, the Milwaukee Road. These were farm towns, and the railroad shortened the time for shipping farm products to Chicago. So people started producing perishables like milk. Northbrook was first called Shermerville for Frederick Shermer, who donated land for the railroad station when the Milwaukee Road opened in the 1870s. Shermerville's brickyards flourished during the rebuilding after the Chicago Fire of 1871. This is the brook after which Northbrook is named. It's actually the north branch of the Chicago River. So how did Shermerville become Northbrook? Well, it seems the little rural town had a reputation for tolerating drinking. So when Prohibition was enacted, the local residents wanted to clean up the town's image and they held a contest to change its name. The winning entry came from Edward Landwehr. Inland suburbs like Northbrook boomed as residential towns after World War II, nearly half a century after the shoreline communities to the east reached maturity. Northbrook's post-war baby boom notwithstanding, one of the town's residents invented the birth control pill. In the 1960s, Frank Benjamin Colton, who emigrated from Poland as a boy, did pioneering research in steroid chemistry that led to Enovid, the world's first oral contraceptive. Colton worked for pharmaceutical giant G.D. Searle for more than 30 years. Northbrook erased any lingering trace of its rural reputation with the opening of the very upscale Northbrook Court in 1976. There was quite a turf battle over the mall's construction. It was built on farmland bordering Highland Park and Northbrook. When Northbrook annexed the land, Highland Park sued. After losing the lawsuit, Highland Park installed traffic signals that were designed to keep mall traffic out of its neighborhoods, but also diverted Highland Park traffic away from Northbrook Court. For years, Northbrook Court shoppers were...